Come down to Nashville, dude. The white people are trying to solve racism in country music? Nothing better, dude. There's no better comedy than white people in country music trying to solve racism. Like, you know, like they're trying to change their band names. Like, oh, where was this solution during the Civil War? This is, why didn't we think about grammar earlier? Uh, like Lady Annabellum, they changed their name. You know what their new name is? Thanks for your bravery and courage, you guys. That should solve it. No, not one black person knows who Lady Antebellum is. Maybe Darius Rucker, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Like, can you imagine the arrogance of like three white people in skinny jeans and cowboy hats walk into Prescott? We have a solution to racism. <laughs> we are gonna change our name from Lady Antebellum to Lady A. Somebody's like, what's the A stand for? I go, ha ha, it's still antebellum. Uh. Still stands for racism, we just shortened it up, just abbreviated the racism. It's absurd, dude, it's really, <laughs> you gotta laugh, there's no other way. And the other country, I thought that was so silly, other country bands followed suit. They're, you know the Dixie Chicks, they changed their name. What's their name now? Dixie. <laughs> The chicks, oh, thanks guys for standing up for what's right. What about that one song where you advocate killing your husband and then burying him in a tarp in the backyard? <laughs> Keep that one, because it makes your money. Keep that one, but okay, yeah, we, okay, shut up. And here's how my brain works, you know, I'm a comedian. I was like, man, we, did, we gotta keep going with this. You know, I wanna see more country bands change their names, you know? <laughs> I'm nervous about this bit a little bit, honestly. <laughs> I was like, yeah, and you guys are like, oh, and I was like, I'm not sure either now. Uh, this bit is like the spikes at the rental car place. My first two wheels are kind of already processed, so I can't really go back, but. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, think about it. I was like, Keith Urban? That man lives on a farm, okay? That is cultural appropriation. <laughs> Somebody's to talk to Clint Black, I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's Clint African American, okay? We need to get that switched up. Somebody's to talk to Uncle Cracker immediately. <laughs> Shoot, I'm surprised George Strait hasn't been canceled at this point. <laughs> so you guys have been fantastic. My name is John Chris. Thank you.